Hello. Welcome to another Cinemas tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to learn how by using dielectric automatic module, we can automatically obtain dielectric constants just starting with a structure file. This tutorial assumes two prerequisites. One, that Cinemas has at least one valid connection established with a compute server. And second, that at least one type of potential files, that is pot cars are configured in cinemas. Okay. Now, let us start by creating a new project in cinemas. Let us give a name test dielectric and save it at a desired disk location. And, we can see that project has been created. Now, let us invoke the dielectric module from the toolbar on the right hand side by clicking the button dielectric. This pops up a dialog box, we can work by creating an empty template or by using a structure file. In the first cinemas, just creates empty workflows, and only the post processing feature is used. While in the second, just from the structure file, remaining calculation is prepared, performed, and post processed to obtain dielectric constants. Let us give a name to this module gallium nitride dielectric. Next you can check this box if you want to relax your structure before computing dielectric constants, else you are good to go. Now let us click the button OK. Cinemas now prompts to browse a structure file in supported formats like CIF, XSF, Posker, Espresso etc. Once you browse the file, immediately workflow is created and a dialog box shows settings in two modes, default settings and user settings. In the default mode optimized settings are shown for display purpose only and can only be specifically changed in the user mode. For this tutorial, we are going to just accept the default settings. Let's click the button OK, and you can see that immediately, Cinema starts transferring files to remote compute server, which was chosen as default in connection settings. OK. Files are transferred and Cinemas is now submitting the job on the remote server. A delay of few seconds can be observed as Cinemas captures the job ID and etc. The job is submitted, and now you can see that the icon here on the workflow changes to running. And the same can be observed from the queue list. The queue list shows all the jobs finished, under progress, or in the queue. Job name and its status can be seen. Job status can be refreshed or the job can be killed. Connection name, the job ID, and the time from the local machine is shown. If there are multiple jobs being managed by cinemas, you can see the entire list here. Using the refresh button, job status for the entire list can be refreshed, and using the clear button, finished jobs can be cleared from this list. Cinemas refreshes the job status every one minute automatically. However, we can refresh the status in between manually also. Let us refresh the job status and see it's completed. And immediately output files start downloading automatically. Once the file download is over, by clicking this percentage icon, we can post-process the calculation to extract the dielectric constants and piezoelectric tensor elements. At the top of the window, high and low frequency dielectric constants are shown. While at the bottom, piezoelectric tensor elements are shown. And its non-zero elements are highlighted by double asterisks. This entire text can be copied and pasted elsewhere. So, in this tutorial you saw how to use dielectric automatic module in cinemas to obtain dielectric constants and piezoelectric tensor elements by starting with just the structure file.
See you in another cinemas tutorial. Thank you very much.